this in just uh, like a like, you know VSB Wednesday. Er, this legit is a real play, stuff. whatever. But Rob's a pretty good pick against Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers don't really like zoning. Uh, Rob is very good at that. He has a lot of ways to get early kills, uh, up airs, you know, sabies off the off the stage. Lots of stuff this character can do, and we'll see if Big D is ready for it. Yeah, strong start from Legit with the, the arm rotor, but it doesn't take a lot for the Ice Climbers to just put on a lot of that pressure and build up the damage super quickly. Yeah, absolutely. When Icy's get in your face, they make it count, man, and it hurts. If you definitely, if you don't know what this character's doing, it uh, it it can uh, it can take you for a ride, just like Legit took Nana yeah. for a ride. There, he's taking, get rid, getting rid of Nana already, but. Big D Sopo, uh, nothing to scoff at, man. His Sopo is absolutely on another level. Yeah, holding the stage control. That's something that uh, you wouldn't probably expect from any regular Sopo, but Big D's definitely got it. But that up here, my goodness, that's a good, fresh start for Legit. He's looking very good and in this set. For all of you lovely viewers in the stream chat wondering, all of this tournament is going to be best of five. Ooh. So, you know, we're going to get a lot of good sets today, a lot of long sets, maybe. Yeah. I expect it most goes PC for another players side go back and forth. So, yeah, for sure, long, long sets. Yeah, and Legit's doing really good so far, only taking 45%. One thing I've noticed about Legit's Rob is uh, he is very comfortable on the ledge and just... He's very comfortable. It's, he doesn't really try to hold stage control, mm -hmm. which sounds weird, but he knows that Rob is really strong on the ledge. Like, he can set up games really easily and his recovery is amazing. So um, there's a lot this character can do from the ledge. Yeah, I feel like if you have a really good uh, set of projectiles in your kit, playing from ledge isn't even a bad idea. You no, it really isn't. Yeah. There's obviously, like, you know, you can get parried, but there's, like, there's counterplay, but um, you have a lot of ways to keep yourself safe. Ooh, nice up smash, but that's not going to be enough despite having both hammers swing and hit him, so. All right, going to get low recovery there. While Rob doesn't have a hitbox on his uppy, he's able to cancel it with aerials so he can... Throw out a lot of hitboxes to actually keep himself safe. Yeah, usually you find that Rob's going to start swinging all side those B, up airs, but that side B. Nana's going to lose her yeah. stock. Whoa, and that was yeah, very wow. clean. Very, yeah. Uh, throws at the um, the side B. Nana, does, Nana doesn't actually DI stuff like that. Um, and he actually sniped Big D's Popo, or just Sopo with the laser. Yeah. Really clean stuff from uh, Legit here, and he's up a full stock. Yeah. But, you know, Big D can uh, oh, erase wow. these leads like nothing, man. And damn, that Blizzard uh, right after all that was really, really clean, too. Keeping the pressure here, that's Calls really the spot dodge, tough to deal and with. And just like that, his stock evaporates. Like I said, man. Dude, how did that happen? <laughs> Big D just makes leads disappear like it's his day job. He's just so good at it, so clean, so efficient. He's being a little bit pressured here, trying to get the stage control back. <laughs> the gyro's really helping, but he wasn't able to secure a what? kill on Nana right there. Really good pressure from Big D, but legit rolls out perfectly. He's going to reset to neutral. Very good up tilt to up air. Which one are you going to go focus on? Yeah, Nana, yeah, Nana. definitely. Considering defenses. she does not have a DI, uh, especially. Yeah. She also won't perform any defensive actions on her way down. Like, she won't air dodge. Yeah. She won't fast fall. She won't fast fall like, any of the stuff that makes catching landing so yeah. difficult. She'll just kind of drift down and pretty yeah. easy target. I would say, despite the SOPO, this is kind of even given how well uh, Big D Sopo typically yeah. His uh, Sopo is good, out. but yeah. he is playing the worst character yeah. in the game. Easily, yeah. Um, a non-existent so. recovery, man. That's yeah, too Yeah, non-existent tough. recovery. Just without without the double the double hits, their moves don't do too much damage. Uh, they still have a, a few good moves. Side B still nice. That's good combo. Oh, good yeah. jump away from Big D. Side B still good. Up air still amazing. But uh, yeah, this character really does struggle yeah. in a lot of ways. With the poor mobility, you're often going to get grabbed and down yeah. tilted so much like we're going to see oh. here. And oh, oh he nice actually waited, but I think he faded in a way that was really hard to Ooh. chase after. Good reaction from Legit. Saw Big D's going for the Tomahawk. Actually clanked it with a grab of his own. Really nice. Yeah. Oh, nice gyro again. I like how he's just waiting on that platform, kind of waiting for uh, Legit to make a move Ooh. and try to strike. Oh, goodness. Oh, he doesn't have a jump. That's oh. unfortunate. And Legit is going to take game one. Very clean stuff from him That's that really first game. Yeah, first games, though, are typically the ones where you're going to get the big downloads on that information. Yeah. You know, I've seen a lot of incredibly good players, and this is the Canadian Pro Series here, where they use that first game to kind of get a download for the feel of uh, so, yeah, the opponent they, and stuff like that. What are they going to be What are they going to be going for? What can I do to get around that? You know, sometimes, like, a single game, like, you know, you can figure it out, but... You don't want to use all your tricks that you figured out that game to like just take the first game. Maybe like there's a lot of stuff he can do. Uh, like he has a lot of time rather to to think of s solutions. You know, Baby is one of the yeah. smartest players I've ever had the pleasure of watching. Just straight up, uh, he's very smart, very uh, very knowledgeable, and he's definitely going to make the necessary 
necessary adaptations. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a lot of experience from the past uh, Smash games, and conditioning doesn't just occur in one game. It takes it happen across an entire set, so we still got a lot. And like we said before, Zach, it's a uh, best of five, so it's going to be a lot, a lot of games for them to figure out what's going on. Oh, nice. Ooh, that was same mana. Yeah. Um, and one thing that is nice for legit, let's say the raw pick doesn't go as well this time around, or like the next game or whatever. Uh, legit has plenty, plenty of characters. Yes. And he can play a lot of rather good characters proficiently. Like, Legit is just a man that will play anything. Uh, and anything, you know, includes a lot of top tiers and characters that are good against ICs. Yeah, for sure. The only one that comes to mind to me right now is, like, he definitely has a wolf. I think mean, that's pretty good. But the Rob yeah, so far is working out. If it worked out it game one, is. then keep it up game two. There's no need to switch. Oh, that was really good. Banana's not going to die. Oh, never mind, I guess. Yeah, no point. Even he's though he's the best babysitter, he can't always save them, right? Yeah, it's not. And there's no jump. Legit playing this matchup really well so far. Oh my gosh. And like I said, he is a like he's he's fine with chilling on yeah. the ledge. He's doing so well because he came to CPS on time this time. <laughs> True that. <laughs> and one thing that's actually really nice for Rob against ICs is although zoners are so good against yeah. the climbers, uh, Blizzard actually is a really good tool against projectiles. Like, for example, my character Youngling, yep. any projectile I throw at Blizzard will lose. It will lose to Blizzard and it will just clank and it'll just stop. It'll clank? Uh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, basically, it, will, it won't get to ICs to disrupt yeah. their stuff. But Rob's laser goes through things. Like, a lot of projectiles will stop on hit. <laughs> But Rob's laser is one of the moves that goes through something. So even though it'll hit Rob's, uh, it'll hit Blizzard, it can still go through and hit them. So it's a really good tool against all the desyncs they want to go for. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen like laser stop from really anything unless it gets reflected. Oh, he so reflects. Right. He reflects the gyro that BD threw at him, and this is looking really good for legit, yeah. man. He's, oh, good nice spot, spot dodge. dodge. That was really good. Grab nice. punishes are like really good medium reads, man. If they, if you have to really know for a fact they're not going to spot dodge if you want to go for that grab. Yeah. yeah Especially because oh no, sloppy recover from Big D. Yeah. And legit is up yet again this game. Really good stuff from him. Yeah. Maybe Big D regretting the regretting his pick so far here yeah. in the draft phase. But good ledge trapping though. Oh. That's uh, the privilege that Rob has. He can kind of fly away and kind of avoid being ledge trapped too hard because not a lot of characters can you know, vertically challenge Rob that way, he's especially got, Ice Climbers. He's got that big body, but he also does have so many good tactics to actually... When he's in that position, it's hard, but he has yep. a lot of ways to keep himself out of being in that position, yeah. which makes it okay, you know? And that Fair is going to take it, and Big D evens it up just like last game, but Legit was still able to take the game after it being evened up. I think it all comes down to if you can kill Nana. That's that was what really uh, kind of set that apart. If the ice climbs can stick together, Ooh, though, I think they're gonna speak well, you know. Oh, try. Fuck. Sorry, calls the fade back. Nana could be dead here. Yeah. Oh, with nope. the Whoa, that was interesting. Down smash, nice. And the gyro, nice snipe. They're separated here. Nana gonna blizzard. Oh, that saves so Big good. D that time. The arm road are going to get punished And that's here. a miss input from Legit. Yeah, he yeah. was so close to having that game, but Nan's going to help Big yeah. D out there and take that stock and tie the setup yeah. here 1-1. That Blizzard came in super clutch, and that really determined that game for sure. I feel like if that Blizzard wasn't there, that was going to be curtains for uh, Big D for game two. Yeah, he was buried in that. Uh, he was buried in the downbeat. Could have got up, up there, yeah. but Nana is saving him. Yeah. Staying on the same stage, but, uh, you know, change the music, man. Yeah. Music counterpicks are really important, but... Yeah, also, Rob. you know, background kind of picks. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a very unfortunate That match moment. was going, honestly, as well as the first one. Uh, like we said, it really did come down to killing Nana. And he wasn't able to get it that time, so BD was able to take that game. Yeah. Ooh, that was really right. good. And he went for it all, but I think he like kind of like DI'd in, so he wasn't going to get carried off like that. So that was smart. Dude, Rob down tilts. Any opinions, Zach? Uh, Rob down tilts. One of the best normals. <laughs> one of the best moves in this game, straight yeah. up. There's so many. It's such a good boxing tool. Having a boxing tool that good on like a zoner is absolutely terrifying. Oh, yeah. narrowly. Okay, yeah. Nana he sent him, or er, Nana was sent too far to be able to get the magnet for the up beat. And legit with another early lead. He's got to make it count, though, because, but, yeah, you know, that's what I was about to sometimes, say. Sometimes, yeah. Getting grabbed at ledge, it's presents like that, that mid range. Down throw fair is just true with Icy, and you gotta hold that. Yeah. Down smash gonna get punished by uh, Sister Twister there. So good. 
Wow. Up tilt F smash, really nice. And Big D is in the lead for, I want to say, maybe the first time this set. Even though he won game two, he was kind of losing until he won. Mm -hmm. Uh, never really had a commanding lead at all. Any upper? Oh, I'm shocked there was no upper there. He was running with for the wildest read of a smash attack read, but I guess he enough. wanted the heavy punish rather than just the safe, yeah. safe, safe punish, but uh, less yeah. less advantage. Ooh, you know he wanted that. He actually got the read. He got the up tilt, invaded the air dodge, but grabbed in the wrong direction. Oh, I, that's kind of smart. And yeah, Nana's just gonna run into that as she does not shield or you know perform any defensive options. Oh, nice roll behind from Big D. And Nana is just <laughs> running into Gyro, but she gets yeah. through that time. We're just going to even it up again with an F smash. Not looking too happy, but, you know, he's keeping it even, keeping it respectable. Oh, this is stuck. You're stuck kind of between them now. Now you're sort of ledge trapped here, but get up attack, of course. Got those iframes, so uh, he'll be able to get through that. Uh, well, I feel like maybe he wanted to jump forward with that blizzard, mm -hmm. but just kind of jumped in place and didn't really get it. Whoa, oh, that, oh sucks. That, that sucks, and that's enough, too, because that's an air dodge, too. Down that, smash. Yeah, kinda. this is looking rough, man. Yeah, good air dodge there, but of course, you can't really avoid it. You're going to get grabbed. These frame traps are too strong. Really nice spacing on that nair from Legit, and calls the side B in. He knows Legit's the playing spacing. very well. Oh, and again. Spot dodge again. Yeah, grab Biggie auto cancels the side B perfectly. Legit keeps going for these grabs, but Biggie's not letting them have them. FD is an interesting pick uh, because it's there's no real platforms to land on. You're gonna have to face Rob and all his uh, pressure when you land. Good Twister, right as he gets there. He's just trying to get him out of the, or swat him out of the corner with these fares. We're just not giving it to him. Oh my really goodness! Really good catch that on that landing. That was scary. I like that the Blizzard to be able yeah, to. Yeah, that's gonna push kill. It, yeah. yeah, and that, legit goes up two one yeah, here. That really scoops. That was kind of crazy. Scoop. He was like kind of below him, but legit knows his hitboxes. Yeah, this is kind of a shocking perform and performance because I don't believe at CPS the first time when we casted they had the ability to pick their opponents. No, it was it was um, it was based off seating. It was seating, but this time picking your the top four is seated here. But um, yeah, this yeah, uh, the last CPS was was um, yeah the last CPS was all seating, no drafting involved. Mm -hmm. This uh, method of how they're making it so you can choose your opponents, that was actually kind of, they kind of test ran that at the uh, the best novice thing that the BSB ran. And I think it's working out like really well, but it's kind of slightly backfiring for Big D. He still has many chances to make this back. He's like a really yeah. prestigious player, but I don't know what is happening. Legit is actually Legit playing, playing on so him. damn well. He's playing quite nice right now. I cannot lie with you. Yeah. Here we go, Big D for his Three, winners, potential winner's bracket life. One, go. For his potential winner's bracket life here, gonna leave it all on Town and City. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Town and City, I feel like they both of them. Right and, but the yeah, bat. that's really crucial. I don't think we've actually seen a kind of a lead like that um, at all during the set where he gets like this huge, almost full stock lead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. He didn't have that before. And yeah, Biggie's just playing it so well. He's keeping Legit in the disadvantage. I like that. Goes for the empty hop, but Legit doesn't bite. And the high ceiling on town. Biggie's counterpick coming back to bite him. Oh, Not that nice. time, though. That was really, really good. This is a struggle now. This is a huge uh, mountain to climb a little bit. When you're down this low, I don't feel like Rob's as explosive. He needs to really get a lot of these side beasts just like this. It's and kind of eliminate Mana one of the could climbers. die here. He's going to save. Oh, goodness. Yeah. We saw what the Sopo did last time, though. He almost actually was able to take that game. So if he can like uh, make this stock count and deal oh. out a little bit of damage, that'd be nice. Tries to fade back on that Nair, but wasn't fast enough and Legit's going to grab him. Up there. Nice. That Goes for the so ice clean. block to catch the landing and then follows up the landing catch with a side B. Really clean from Big D here. Yeah, he doesn't need Nana to do these sick, sick combos. That was really cool. Yeah, absolutely. And he's going to side B. Yep. Okay. Catches the air dodge to ledge. And now we are even stocks, but legit is at quite the deficit in terms of percent here. Yeah, it's very risky for him to be that high above the ice climbers. The double up air is just really scary. And, you know, uh, one thing that's really nice for legit, considering he won. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, good, good punish on the side B. Uh, one thing for legit that's really nice is he won game three of the best of five. So if it comes to the game, if legit does not win this game and it comes to a best of five, he does have counterpick advantage. Yeah. 
That's very, very important in a matchup like this as well. And Doss, Big D doing the desync stuff, 76% yeah. just like that. Yeah. Single Icy's uh, forwarder, if it's a lead climber, it's not going to spike, but no. still dealing a lot of that damage here. And the ledge trapping here is very strong here. Nice spacing. I thought he was actually going to land the platform and lose yeah. a stock like that, but legit, you know, very aware. Not going to let that happen. And Nana's going to die. Nana's going to die. And, whoa. No. Yeah, good deal. Oh, that's because Nana sustained so much damage. I didn't even realize the percent yeah, totally. that Big D has isn't even that high. There we go. Nice. Really good F smash. And that's a clean two stock. Yeah. Big D saying, you know, I'm here to stay, man. Just because I'm down doesn't mean I'm out. And he's That's why his tag's hard, that. man. He's playing from the heart, dude. <laughs> he's not from gonna, the heart. He's not going to let uh, this deficit stop him. He's won many a tournament, man. Last time, the pinnacle, dude. He took that uh, he did did really, really well. He did win the Over one of the PNW's finest, Pandarian. Yeah. Pandarian not here. Uh, he is not a Canadian <laughs> resident. He lives in the States. Uh, but that does not mean this event is a cakewalk for Beatty. As you can see, you know, he's already being pushed to his limit. Uh, he's already being pushed to his limit in his first set of the day here. Okay, so they went to, I believe, Smashville? That's a good pick. Yeah. Um, it has, like, pretty small blast zone, so Rob Saibi is going to be really good here. Um, but on the same side, you don't really have a lot of space to run from Ice Climbers, so... I think starting off with uh, the side B there is kind of risky. We saw a like, legit kind of fade back and shoot the gyro onto the side B. And I gave him quite a sol uh, like, salt. Oh, lead I thought here. he was going to SD with that arrow. I thought he was a bit too low, but he's going to make it back. Yeah. Let's see what he can get off this grab. The grab is crucial. My was that gosh. Four up airs, or I rather guess nine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, going to give a nice 70% there. Yeah. Smashville sort of helped out Big D there. He used that top platform to kind of extend those up airs too. So I guess both these. Uh, oh, wow. Up smash clanks with the side B, and that is a stock. Really clean conversion from Big D. Gets the up tilt into the charge up smash out of that blizzard, and Big D's going to take a lead this game five. That's a scary right. situation no, to be in right here. Okay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> It's a blizzard, and it's going to be safe on hit still. No laser, and uh, oh, that sucks. No, An that's SD there. The worst. And this, you, you hate to see it in this game five. Uh, Big D's taking a commanding lead here, but he does have Popo, so this could this could be a legit chance to bring it back. Yeah, down tilt. We were just talking about it. Yeah, that's going to lose that man. stock, but he still has a lot of room to make up. Really unfortunate that um, he got that SD because he was like he was going about even until then. Wow, it covers the roll behind. Smash My actually gosh. covered. That's disgusting. And Nana may die here. The blizzard. I don't know if Big D's going to opt to save. Oh, he, I guess he pulled her in with up B. Yeah, nice. Using that platform is kind of a safety measure. That was really good. Good job, Nana. Yeah, That's good nice. Good job. <laughs> Goes for the ice block setup again, but uh, let's just going to jump out there that time. Very smart. And, you know, even though he SD'd, he is bringing this back pretty hard. There's a side B. Wow. And he's brought it, after being down three stocks to one, only at 66%. He's brought it to this last stock here. But, you know, being on ledge against Big D, absolutely terrifying. This is really scary, but he actually got the stage control. The down tilt down train tilt has started. Block, yeah. yeah, there's the uh, there's the laser. Racking on that huge damage. The up smash, though, could have put him in the air. It's a precarious spot. Can he get down? Good air dodge. Nice. Good back air to keep him. Out off the stage, Big D's going to look to cover his landing. Gets it with the up air, not going to take it. But we're really close here. Yeah. The percents are not very close, but, you know, Rob has such a good comeback factor in that yeah. side B. In that, but yeah, he's going to call the gyro out, and really good stuff that from was Big D. really, really good. Eric was playing so well. That he was SD playing it extremely well, man. man. It, he 